That's right. All right. Another thing you I like to your find music. out what the right side is. Mm -hmm. So the important thing when you're painting on fabric is to make it really tight. Usually I do it on cardboard and I'm just free freehand something, but if I have to trace something exactly, I have to use a light box. Which I actually never knew about until I temp somewhere. It was actually a kids company and they were all doing these uh, hand painted t-shirts for babies and kids and they all just uh, had their light boxes out and their headphones on and it's a really fun temp job actually and usually I had to do like six samples all looking the same it was like for all the uh, reps you know See, I'm pulling it really tight because it's a stretch fabric. Smart and final, these the little mustard cups. Mm -hmm. I love these. I collect these. For, and when I, I do uh, a group of colors, I hand mix everything and save them in the cups. And then what I do is on the lid, I put the Pantone chip so I remember what color goes with what. And I, I keep them on a shelf, you know, color coded. So when Spin Master calls me and says, can you do another sample of that skull, head, heart thing? And I say, yeah, I still have the colors. Cool. You know, saves me time. So, you know, I try to mix up at least a cup full. I mean, they don't really give me giant pieces of fabric for a doll. It's, you know, it's like 11 by 14 might be the biggest piece. Right now, I don't have to do the exact colors. And so it doesn't run. Now I have, excuse me, one more special stuff. Okay. I got this great stuff. Now, you don't have to use it all the time because I got 100% cotton. It doesn't run as long as you don't have it too goopy and too watery. I got this no flow. Uh, stuff. It's kind of a strange consistency. It's kind of viscous, to say the least. It's like <sighs> kind of a loogie, but <laughs> I don't want to say that, but it is. It's kind of like a glue that I have to mix in so it doesn't run. And usually, I don't use tap water because it ruins the paint. You get mildew in the paint. Okay, so you have to use spring water, fresh water, distilled water. So we'll just samba while we're listening while we're here. So, and I don't make it too runny. I make it like a creamy consistency, so it like, kind of like a heavy cream. Okay. And what I like to do is, excuse me, I'm going to get my little brushes just to show you. So see these? 
That was good. Um, I have like a whole collection of teeny, teeny, tiny brushes, and I'm always shopping for more because I wear them out. I just they get bent, you know, with all that acrylic paint. So I just like stick them here. So like, I think this is a 10-0, guys. Oh wow. So what I like to do is usually the outline of a shape first so it doesn't run because I have to be just like really delicate because it has to be perfect and usually I have this up at an angle like with a book. Do you remember Tina Tokamatsu? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tomiyama, Tomiyama. Of course. Remember, she had like paint all like oh, she yeah. had like paper towels with like. But that was Tina. Yeah. Like this, because you're constantly like mm -hmm. trying to get a point on your brush. Yeah. Also, did I bring? I hope I brought my little. My I have special brush soap too that I'm constantly like putting on here also so it doesn't burn. So anyway, what I like to do is the outline first. And um, I usually put a, a piece of uh, the vinyl here so I don't so I don't get it dirty. Meanwhile, I'm getting your like Ariel. <laughs> anyway, so so let's say I want to make a perfect circle. And I'm like, you know what? I don't like this brush. Let's do a different brush. So it's kind of like makeup artists do it too with their thing on their hand. And I just do it because I um, I don't like too much paint on the brush because I don't want to make it all bleed. And I know there might be a faster way to do it, like airbrush it on with a stencil, but I'm just not into doing that. Because airbrush, I don't want to inhale it, and I don't, I can't make a mess like that in my place. So okay, after I've got like the skinny line, then I can get to the bigger brush and do a bigger, more paint on the brush. So this kind of prevents it from spreading and bleeding through. And I'm thinking. Instead of doing it one by one here, maybe somebody wants, everybody can do a That's circle. That's a good idea. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, then they get the feel for it. And, and you know, like as you get comfortable, um, you kind of get faster. I mean, in the beginning of a project, I just say, yes, I can do it. And then I get home and it's like a big headache and it's more time than I estimated. And mm -hmm. it's a big puzzle Happens that I have to all. figure out. And I just have to roll with it, you know. Yeah. Once you get comfortable with how to do something, it, it gets faster. So there's the circle. And see, it's not spreading, it's not bleeding. So does anybody want to come try? I trust you. <coughs> I think Saul's good at this. Clean it up later. Here. Ah. <laughs> you want to put on an apron? I have another apron. Too. It's okay. It's her specialty.